All right, fellas, just wrapped up my final client for the day. I'm heading back and I wanna talk about a huge mistake that you are probably making and it's costing you quite a bit because I made the same mistake and when I made this switch, I got my first dunk. I'm only 5'11 and I did not have a big athletic base to work off of when I started training. Um, I didn't really know what I was doing, but what switch would that be that I made? I started treating the weight room like the weight room. A lot of basketball players, okay, they treat the weight room like um, that with this Kobe mentality where you go in and you push yourself as hard as you possibly can until you're tired, until you can't move and then you leave and you do it all again the next day. That's a horrible way to do it. It's an awful way to do it, especially for a basketball player. If you're a bodybuilder or a power lifter, you know, go ahead and do that, that's fine. But you're a basketball player, man. You are getting tons of endurance work on the court already. The weight room is for weight. It's for heavy stuff, explosive movements. If you do more endurance-based stuff, you're not gonna get stronger, really. And you're just overfilling a bucket that's already getting filled. I mean, you're, you're getting your endurance stuff on the court. You don't need that. You need the polar opposite. When you go into the weight room, you need to go as heavy as you possibly can, for the most part. Um, obviously, don't be reckless, but go as heavy as you possibly can, push yourself, take like four minutes in between your sets, completely recover, because that's what trains your nervous system, it trains your body, it rewires it to produce a ton of force in a, in a short moment, which is gonna help your vertical. It's you know, a huge thing that helped me get my dunk was learning this concept. And um, you're gonna do that for your squats, your hinge exercises, everything essentially in the weight room. You can have a couple exercises at the end I call them add-ons where it's more controlled, you're feeling the muscle, or if you just wanna like rip some arms, to be honest, and like grow your arms and you can do that. My, my youngest brother loves doing that shit. But for the most part, it's all explosive, okay? With, with every weight exercise. And also, it should be the same for your plyometric exercise, which you might not even know what that means, but basically that's some sort of sprint or jump. Okay, and that should be body weight, explosive, short sprints, okay? So the common theme to wrap it up is there's a big duality in sports. There's a big separation that you need to acknowledge. Court is for skills and conditioning. Weight room is for heavy, explosive, long rest. And even in the weight room, you see that duality in, um, you know, those heavy exercises and, you know, some of those add-ons that are a little bit lighter. There's a lot of polarities in life too, you know, if you haven't figured that out yet. Um, you have to go to the extremes to get shit actually done. So hopefully that tip helps you. Um, it absolutely should. And if you can implement it, then you're gonna get a lot of amazing results. Like, follow, share, run it up, visit my website, link in the description but i hope you guys have a beautiful day and i'll see you in the next one